All right. So um, this is what we're going to call kind of like a composition of the areas. All right. Now, these problems are simple, but they're also advanced. They're very simple in the fact that all you guys really need to do is just compute areas. What's difficult about these is we need to add and subtract areas to be able to determine how are we going to find the area of the figure. We don't have a formula for this figure, do we? This is a crazy kind of figure, right? Now, however, we can break this up into different types of figures and find the areas of each one of them. So what I do is I'm going to draw some lines and kind of say, do you guys now see three different areas or three different figures? I have a semicircle, I have a triangle, and I have a square, right? Or yeah, it looks like a square. So I can, can I find the area of all those? Do I have the formula for all, four, all three of those figures? Yes. So then what I'm going to do is I'm either going to add or subtract. Now, one thing I notice is I actually have two triangles. I have this large triangle, and I have a small triangle. And what I want you guys to notice is if I find the areas of all these triangles, I'm going to add the square plus the large triangle plus that. But then what I'm going to have to do is subtract the smaller triangle. Right? You guys agree with me? Yeah. Because this is extra. Because if I find the area of that triangle and I find the area of the square, I'm finding it twice, right? I'm finding the area of this twice. So I'm going to want to subtract that out, all right? Now, so what I like to do when I'm doing problems like this, I like to draw each figure separately. And then I like to write in Michael, Maddie, Maddie. What? Maddie, right? Maddie? That, that was his name, though, right? Was it Maddie? It was Maddie, right? It's exactly. That's why I want you, Maggie, to be looking at this one, because this isn't one that you had on your homework. So I want you to make sure you know on this one, because it's a little bit more step above. So what I like to do. It's actually my mom. Oh, no, I know. But I was just saying that was his name. So what I like to do is write out a kind of picture of what I'm going to be adding. So I'm going to add a square plus big triangle plus semicircle, and then I'm going to minus little triangle. Does everybody see that kind of what I do? So now let's just label in what is all the dimensions for each one of those figures. Break it up. Don't look at this and get so confused. Break it up into smaller parts. So this, this uh, squared is 13 inches by 13 inches. The larger triangle, this length is 30 inches. And now what we need to do is define what is the height. Um, so if you have, wait a minute, let me see the book. I know, but we got to see what they have. Hold on a second. You don't need to see that. You don't even need the little triangle in there, do you? Huh? Yeah. Instead of making it a triangle, you could make it a quadrilateral. Uh, or we could make it a trapezoid. Yeah, trapezoid. Yeah. So um, what actually comes into this case is by me looking at this, yes, we don't know. We know that's 20, but we don't know what this length is. And we don't want to estimate. So guess what? Finding that area of a triangle is not going to work. So what I can do then is let's change this to a trapezoid. Because we know the area of a trapezoid, right? If that's 30, this length is 13. And do we know the height? The height from here to here is 20. All right? Then let's go and look at the semicircle. So I just did this trapezoid. Oops. Trapezoid. Okay? And then we have a semicircle. Well, if here's the center, if this hole is 13, then we know the radius is 15. And if we know the radius of a circle, can we find the area of it? Yeah. Yeah. So now, ladies and gentlemen, let's compute the area of each one of these separately. This area equals base times height. This area equals 1 half base 1 plus base 2. This area equals pi r squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to compute each area. This is 13 times 13, right? Plus 1 half 
13 plus 30 plus this area is pi times 15 squared. All right? So now I just take my handy dandy calculator and I just compute each one of these separately. 13 times 13 is 169. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of a little too much. Um, yeah. 13 plus. Um, uh, 13 plus 30 is 43 times 1 half is the same thing as dividing by 2. So that would be 41.5. And then 15 squared is going to be 225 times pi is going to be 706 point eight five eight three four seven one. Again, guys, I do not want to approximate until the very, very, or um, uh, um, round my answer until the very, very end. So then I add that to 41.5, and then I add that to 169. And my final answer for this area equals 917.4 um, as I round it to the tenth. And there you go.